Well, I guess I have a bit of an unboxing for you today. Um, I got this uh, Yezu dual band uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter radio. I guess I just had the uh, Bofeng radio for too long and it's it's time to get something a little different so I'm going to crack this puppy open and uh, see what we got going inside here. I got this from Amazon but I believe the company that actually shipped it was Gigaparts which I was not familiar with but yeah it's Gigaparts and it looks like they use packing peanuts so thanks a lot dudes there's the receipt I'm not going to show that off to you but this I found out is a fairly new radio released within the year here so I didn't really see a whole lot of uh Not really reviews, uh, but uh, just kind of unboxing, looking at it, trying it out. There are some uh, foreign language ones, but uh, I couldn't understand them, so I'll leave that for another year. Um, cool. So it's a little box. Um, I guess I'm not surprised the radio isn't really that big, but yep, figures I already ripped it. Get this guy open here. Looks like it slides right out the end. There we go. So, looks like a standard accessory pack here. You have, let's see, a, a quite long power cable. Um, we have. Oh, this is a USB cable. I'm not sure if it comes with a uh, charging software or not. Um, we have a mounting bracket, it looks like. We have the microphone. This looks to be the standard uh, sort of classic from what I've seen. They use them for everything so that looks really nice um, looks like we have um, some mounting hardware since I'm probably going to use it on my desk I'm not sure uh, what I do um, some spare fuses and uh, oh yeah there's a it's some more additional mounting hardware there so Oh, we got a sticker. Got to have a sticker. You can, uh... But the man of the hour, or lady, I suppose, is this one right here. That is teeny. Look at that little thing. Let me see if I got got a penny here or a quarter or something yeah here's a penny and here's I mean it's right next to that's a, a teeny little guy there um, it's a little it's a little shorter than a car radio and I don't think it's as wide so I don't know if it fit in the um, wow it's hefty though this thing it weighs way more than it looks uh, you wouldn't want to uh, put that somewhere where it could fall off <laughs> so um, I suppose after this I'm going to hook it up and um, give it a little test run see if I can't get in the repeaters um, I haven't done anything with digital yet uh, the CFM or C4FM so I'm gonna have to do a little learning and uh, maybe I'll do something with that in a bit so here we have the Yezu FTM 7250D and I was just going to run over some uh, simple settings to uh, get it all up and running. Um, so let's say you're wanting to put in a repeater. Uh, you can just go um, punch it in the keypad if you want. 
So, one, four, five, two, seven, zero is a local repeater here. Now, um, to get into the menu, you hold this uh, megahertz setup button for a second, and there's a uh, a whole bunch of different menu items in here you just scroll through but the ones we are interested in are let's see where is it there's squelch type right there so if you click the uh, setup button again on that it'll let you select which one you want um, so there's off tone which is only transmitted tone uh, Tone squelch, which is um, you transmit and the uh, squelch opens with the tone as well. There's DCS. Um, I believe this is reverse tone. And then there's a pager and some other features, but um, I'm going to set it to T squelch. And then I'm going to press setup again. And that sets it. Now, what I want is uh, two over or three over you got the tone frequency so now I know that this station is 94.8 it looks like I already had that in there but um, I believe it defaults to 100 for almost everything so you just gotta kick it back two steps and click that setup button again now if you hold the setup button that's how you get out of the menu again and then you're back to here now if you see this this F right here, that means you're in FM mode. Now we have a mode button here, and if you click that, you can switch from the digital, FM, and uh, AMS is the uh, automatic mode, so it will figure out based on what it's hearing what it should do. Um, it's probably best to leave it at AMS, because um, it's entirely possible to transmit digital right over top of someone else and not even really really know it so um, it's best to watch out for that um, now since I want it to just be an FM since I know this repeater only supports that I'll set it to that and then uh, we should be good um, now that we have the repeater programmed in um, I know I can get into this in, with 5 watts so um, if you go and press the uh, D character on the controller, you can select low, mid, or high power. So I'm just going to set that down to low and press that D key again. So that should be good. Now the last thing we want to do is, I'm assuming you want to save all your repeaters in the memories. So if you, you see this far right button here, you have V slash M and then MW, the, the memory right. Um, if you hold that button, this little MR and then a number will flash on the right side. So what you can do is you select this, the station number you want that on. So I'm just going to pick one for that. And then you press this button right there again. And then it'll ask if you want to write it. I believe it, it doesn't ask that if there isn't something already there. But you, you click this again to um, confirm it. Now, the, the program system for uh, putting in letters and stuff is actually kind of neat. I haven't used this before, but it's just, uh, you know, you just scooch around, W, and then you press that button again. If you go left here, you can go back around to the numbers, 8, and then we go right to L, R, C, okay. Now that's good. Um, then, as most other things, if you hold this, it will finish it and back out. Now, since we're in the VFO mode right now, if you click this button once, it'll switch you to the uh, memory recall mode. And from there, you can twist your dial, and you know, I have a few other stations in there already. But um, then, if you press it one more time, this radio also allows you to. Um, save yourself a uh, home frequency so if you just have one that you frequently monitor like this is the call frequency um, then you can do that um, the far left here you have a uh, um, the second thing under here says squelch 
So um, this is kicking on a bit, so I'm going to maybe set the squelch up a bit higher there so that it doesn't, but uh, yeah, so that's how you uh, program it. Um, the the menu at the bottom, I mean, there's there's two manuals for this. It comes with the basic operating manual, but there is a uh, separate PDF on the website that um, goes into detail a little more about a few other things. But um, for example, if the um, the transmit you uh, it automatically figures out where the input for the repeater is, but if you have a different frequency for it, you can select that frequency on here. And then um, I believe you press the uh, memory right and select the channel that you want to add it to. So um, let's say I this input was, this is just made up, but so let's say I did that and I went back to one here. Now this is where it's weird because you'd expect this to transmit, but you hold this button down and then you press the memory right and hold it. And what that'll do is it'll add that to that memory there. So then you'll have this frequency as the uh, repeater input and then the one that you previously programmed into there for the other one. So um, I'm going to go in here. Um, I believe it kept it the same. So um, yeah, that should be it. Um, I guess if you have any questions or comments or, you know, tell me what you think about this radio in uh, the comments down below. Um, I'm going to see if maybe I can call someone up and see uh, if they're uh, around. Uh, KE8AEW. I was hoping for a radio check of some sort. Yeah, I'm guessing it's it's raining outside and maybe everyone turned the radios off. It's probably a good idea. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.